Mike's Bad Web and in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing. We've got a little light box here and that's what we're going to be unboxing. That and this set of gaming tiles and more importantly another Kickstarter project that I backed two years ago. Pandemonium. It's finally arrived. Right, so here we are with Pandemonium. It's a fantasy survival horror and miniatures game. It's by Mark Ripple and Daniel Mestres, I think it is. Uh, published by Game Forger and it's a Kickstarter project, as you are well aware. Because I mentioned it earlier. Let's get the knife opening on the go. So we can pull the wrapper off. And now that's out of the way, let's turn it over and see what's on the back. Now with this we get 76 miniatures, 350 cards, 18 character sheets, 150 tokens, 14 maps, 52 page rule book and 36 page survival diary, 6 custom dice, 1d6 and 1d12, um, 40 red cubes, 4 wooden hearts and a lot of fun. There we go, so that's what it is on the back. Um, this is going to be interesting but first I need to go and have a hunt for my uh, reading glasses. Won't be a moment. Okay, I got them. So, let us turn the box over and open it up. It's a weighty box. So what do we have? We have a nice little picture here. all the cast, <laughs> oh, some of the cast, um, a lot of these are going to be featured in the um, in the game itself and if you look closely you might see a few that you may recognise. Mm. Let's see if you recognise them even more when we get in here. So that's that. Next we have ooh, a white box. What could be in the white box? Ooh, we'll find out later. And then we have the Manual de Juego. Or the rule book, as we say in English. This is good, a good concept. It looks quite thick until you realise that one half of the book is in English and the other half, if you turn it upside down, is in Spanish. It is a Spanish book. It's a Spanish company that uh, released this, but uh, it looks quite nicely laid out. There's all the minis, there's all the cards, and everything. Yes, I'm not going to show you them in great detail, obviously, because we're going to have a look at them later. And then we have the survival diary. There we go. On the back. I think this must be the, um, I don't know, it could be the, um, oh, what do we call it, the information about the different monsters and things, and let's have a look, so in case you hadn't noticed, one half of the page is the English version, and the other half of the page is the Spanish version. That's quite nice. Then we have some punch boards with a few tokens inside. And let's just push these back in because they've come out. Not that it's a great issue, but you want to show properly. Not sure what they all do yet. No doubt, 
as usual we'll find out as time goes on. Um, yeah, so we have a few more ones that have come out, but I'm not going to go through all of them. Just give you a look at what we have. There we go. I'm a little bit more concerned at the fact that they used Bill and Ted's telephone box instead of the doctor's, but oh well. <laughs> no accounting for taste. <laughs> We've got a few tiles here that's come out of the previous board. Not tiles, tokens. Um, there we, go. we have a plus one token. Some little white butterfly, no man traps on them. Butterflies at first. I went and got my grading glasses, I haven't put them on, so everything's a little blurred. Won't be a second. Let's just swap glasses and then we can carry on. Here we go. Next we have <laughs> oops, more of the same kind of tokens with a few more added. I'm assuming these ones are going to be life tokens. Not sure what these oops, not sure what the green ones are on the X's. What? Again, oh, we have purple on that side and like an orangey colour on that side. I'm dropping all the tokens. They're all over the floor and I don't want to do that in case I lose any. Oh no. Um, one thing I will say, they come out easy. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But as soon as you touch them, they're falling out. And then we have these ones. Not quite sure what they are. Busted locks by the look of it. And uh, broke. Right, if I do it that way, it must, you see it better. There's a window, an open window, and a busted lock. And on that side, it's a completely busted lock and a smashed window. You can see that. And next we have. Something trying to get through um, the body up window. And we have what looks like a clock. Ah. Same on the other side as well. Next we have tiles. They're not the thickest of board tiles, but they are you know, thick enough. So we have Botos show the different rooms. They're not zombie side quality, but you know we're not expecting that. Um, and all of these will, be, you know, they'll tell you what how to set them up each mission up scenario up whatever you call it. Um, in the rule book. Or survival diary, whichever you may prefer to use. So, very colourful, I've noticed that. Very, very colourful. Which for a horror survival game is unusual. You usually find them quite dark and dismal. But also, these are quite, quite lovely and bright and colourful. I do like that, it's right in the middle of beheaded corpse of a computer worker. <laughs> there we go. There's some nice touches in them. I hope you I hope you're having a, a good look at these and seeing some of the Oh, oh, I was not expecting that when I turned it over. That is a bit striking. Wow. Look at the skulls down there. And the final one is this one. There we go. And I think we have a complete copy. So we have two boards of each. This pack, I would imagine, could be the same one. 
I don't remember seeing that one, but we do have another one of the crashed. Um, oh yes, we do, yeah, it must be, it looks like it is just uh, the same tiles that have been, um, what you call it, um, oh god, what's it called? Same tiles that just repeated, and we have a die, 12 sided by the look of it. We have a 6 sided die, or 6 sided die, and a custom base. And we have the little red squares, or cubes rather. And then we have wooden halves. Now, let us have a look at the character boards, which I'm assuming these are. These are for the bad guys. Okay, so one side is English, one side is Spanish. And we have different areas, I'm assuming these are the ones you can hit. So we have one that's themed on the Hellraiser stories. This is one of the hero characters, the Preacher. And I'm only showing the English side because there'll be plenty of other, um, whatchamacallit, unboxing videos on YouTube showing the Spanish because they had them weeks ago. assuming you recognise who that character is supposed to be. And that one. Um, there we go. Now we have another tile which is like a... I don't know, there's like a counter on it or... Could be how many times you can use them before they... Um, Finish. I don't know the tracking council from the tracking counter anyway. And then we have more character cards. And Grimoires, Dark Seals, Evil Dice, Portals, Life Tracker. And we have Soldier. Master, the hero. I'm assuming that's supposed to be based on uh, Rambo or something like that. Oh no! Um, what's his face from the Evil Dead? Ash. And the Doctor. Not the Doctor, but the Doctor. There we go. So the so the character tiles. Now what we need to look at is the little cards that we have in here and the minis because we did say this was a survival game with minis I'm not going to open the other t um, pack of boards of uh, game tiles because we don't need to, we've seen them all so let's get back down to the table and we can have a look at the cards and the minis and we can also see what's in this little box. Okay, see you at the tabletop. Okay, so here we are with some cards. Um, what do we open first? Let's have a look at these ones first. Um, we can bring them in and then have a look at some. Didn't quite go through. That did. There we are. So what do we have? We have these ones with the Baphomets um, image on the back. Are they all the same kind of card? It looks it, yes. So we're just going to have a skim through these. We're not going to go through them all. Um, 
we're just going to have a look. These looks looks to be all the monsters and the demons and things. Um, accident cards, coven, heart attack. You know, there's all sorts of different kind of effigy bobs. We'll just have a look at one close up. That's the one we have. There we are. I'm not quite sure, as you are probably aware, what they all do as yet, but, you know, it only takes a little time. Let's have a look at these ones now, which have the, uh, like the contents of a study desk. These are the same. It looks oh no, there's some difference in these. So let's have a look at these little ones first. These have the skull on the background. Oh, more. Right. Let's have a look at these ones first. <laughs> so that's what they have these ones have on the back. In fact, no, there are more there, so I'm gonna put them to one side and we'll have a look at these with the white skull on the back. And these are different things that can happen by the look of it. Um, don't panic, we'll have a little bit of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> um, Poltergeist, Thief of Victories. I'm not, as I say, looking at these in any particular um in depth and we have more of these desk top ones as well um, let's see as you know I do like to show things properly on my unboxing videos I don't just skim through them because I don't think it does it justice if you're going to show do spend time to sort out do a video then I really think just do it you know show as much as you can so I'm going to put that pile down for a second while I look at these ones these are all going to be the same type of card must be equipment cards that you can find um, hope you can have a hope you can see these properly Hell Cube Kickstarter Mighty Mask <laughs> Nice. Ouija board, Haunted TV, Electro Youth, Exoskeleton, Gasoline, St. Bones, Master Key, Map, Necronomicon. There we are, a bit of Lovecraft coming in here. So that's those. And we'll have a look at these as well. They're all the same kind of thing. Just a piece of equipment you can find, parchments, Phoenix Feather, binoculars. Pocket watch, Talisman of Narada, tricycle. Hmm, what's that? That's something new. A crossbow. And weapons you can find as well. And there we have Molotov cocktail. Going back to zombie side. Cujo. That's a wrong kind of dog for Cujo. I thought Cujo was a Saint Bernard. Hmm. Phantasm sphere. You know, the the looking back at different horror movies um, with this game, as you may have noticed. So uh, don't be surprised when you see, you know, your classic horror movie um, characters pop out of the uh, board at you, because that is what it's aimed at doing. So I'll pop them here out of the way and we'll open this set of cards now this set of cards has that like deer skull kind of thing like a trophy uh, then you'll find in a hunting watch um, so that has that's these cards and this is 
Um, well, I'm not really sure what they are. I suppose I could get the rule book out and actually tell you definitely. What do we have? Okay. So, the skull, white skull cars that you saw earlier were grimoire cars. The ones that we've got now are packed cars. The ones with a picture of Baphomet on the back are the event cards. The ones of the uh, de uh, study desk top, which has the skull, the book and the gun on it. Uh, they are item cards. So as I say, we're looking at the moment at uh, the packed cards. And um, so that's what these are. Um, now we have these ones which has a sign on the back and these are combo cards. There's not many of these. Um, four Fists of the Jade Dragon, a thousand wrecking hits. The Infernal Exterminator, Brothers of Cursed Blood, sort of dot. Bright Knight, Silent Knights, Incredible Shadowless Kick, Pendulum of the Red Death, Interdimensional Portals, One for All and All for One, Whirlwind of Demonic Fire, Unchained Vengeance. That's it. I'm not trying to explain any of these because it might spoil any future gameplay, gameplay plans we have. These ones we have are. Oh, hang on, just found something. We have more of these um, Baphomet back to ones. Um, but you saw these kind of things earlier. Um, but these are dimensional cards. And uh, we have the fourth dimension, or code on. Clock World, Doomed Planets, Dream World, Hellgate, Limbo, Multiverse, Omega Nebula, The Other Side, Slaughterhouse, Tartarus. Tartarus? Tartarus. Where do I know that name from? Tartarus. It'll come to me. Tech World, Tides of Time, and Time Vortex. Puzzling me now where I know the name Tartarus from. I'm sure it's from a computer game. Computer game, yes, it was. Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War. One of the characters came from Planet Tartarus. What was that? Uh, Blood, uh, Blood Raven. Hmm. Anyway, uh, these ones are skill trees. So if you look on them, Closely, you will see that they have a very small writing. I mean, very small writing. Corruption. Let's have a look. Would any of these be in, in one side English and one side Spanish? Yes, they are. So, have to be careful which side you pick up on these. We have survival. You have survival again. We have corruption, another corruption, another corruption, illumination, another illumination, another illumination, retribution, retribution, and nothing. There we are. That's that little deck sorted out. I think. Oh! We have more of these Bafflemet backed ones again. So we will. Got a lot of these ones. Uh, we don't need to go through these again, I don't think. Because um, you've seen them all, what kind of things we have. The same ones as we saw earlier. Um, oh, these are the ones that have the pictures on rather than just the words. 
out and put them back in the little carrier thingy that we have for them. And now we have the ally cards. We have 32 of these ally cards. They all have that back. And we find we have an evil doctor, evil fury, evil geek, evil girl, evil hero, evil hunter. How can you get an evil hero? It's either a hero or it's not a hero. Huh. Evil Huntress, Evil Lifeguard, Evil Lovers, Evil Master, Evil Mechanic, Evil Mom, Evil Preacher, Evil Soldier, Evil Stripper, Evil Thief, Evil Lord, Aerial Rescue, The Doctor, The Fury, blah de 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 blah And that's the cards. So, Plexos. Um, I'm trying to get these back into some sort of reasonable stack in the tray that we have. Um, I'm just going to slide that back into the bottom of the box. And now we can get out big white box. Let's raise the camera a second. Okay. Here is the big white box. Let us get our knife opening. And what we have inside is a bag. And it's a bag full. Of miniatures. There we are. We're going to have some fun to get these. So before I open these, I'm going to leave this video for the time being. We've opened up most of it. We have this and that small box to open. We'll do that in another video just so we can devote one looking at. The minis and giving the minis the attention as you might be able to say they obviously deserve so uh, that's all for this video until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now